Hey everybody, it's Rich Brooks of Flight New Media. And as you probably heard, Google Plus is open for business. Or business is really. We can now go on and create our own page at Google Plus for our businesses. And I'm going to show you how to do it in less than three minutes. Let's get the clock started and go. So here we are at Google Plus. I'm going to roll down. I'm going to click on create a Google Plus business page. I can choose what type of business I'm in, what category I'm in, arts and entertainment, product or brand. Uh, local business, I'm actually going to go with company or institution or organization, choose that. I'm going to type out my company name and I'm going to put in the URL that I want to drive some more traffic to, choose an industry, agree to everything, and get started. Next I put my tagline in and I upload some images. I'm sure you've uploaded an image before, we don't need to spend too much time on that. Choose it from your desktop and upload it. We're ready to go, click continue. Now they want me to share it, but I'm not quite ready to share it, I've got more work to do. So I'm going to start by putting in some photos. So I'm going to choose the, the album name I want to use. I'm going to click on Upload Photos, and I'm just going to go very quickly through all the photos. I'm going to create a little photo album here. In this case, I'm just showing some recent work we've done, Create Album. Now I can choose to share this album. I'm going to share it on Flight's Wall. And it's also going to appear in the photo section of our profile page. So that's great, that looks good. Now let's go in and add some more information about flight. We're going to edit our profile. They want us to add some more photos. Fine, let's add some more photos. So I'm going to choose some additional photos from my desktop, upload them, give it a little more lived in look. I'll stop at two right here. Then I want to tell people about flight. So I'm going to put in some information about our company. I'm going to create a link so if people like it, they can click through, find out more about us by going to our website. Maybe they want to contact us right from here. So I'm going to put in my phone number, my address, all that good information so that people can contact us through our Google Plus page. Next, what pages interest you? In other words, what pages do you want to share with other people? So I'm going to go ahead and create some custom links here. I have two options, put in a label and then I'm going to put in my URL. So I'm just going to create about four different links to get us started, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, all those sort of things so that when people come to the page they can see it. Next up is videos. Make sure you click on that don't, uh, done editing button. And uploading videos is just like uploading photos. So we're just going to click, we're going to add some videos. It would be nice if we could add some YouTube videos as well, uh, but that doesn't seem to be integrated quite yet. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to share this on my, uh, my wall as well. And this is also going to appear in the video section of our blog. So there it is on our page under posts. But also if we click over to the video section, we're going to see that it appears there as well. Now I'm ready to share my page. So as Rich Brooks, I'm going to go and I'm going to say, just created a page for Flight New Media and try and get people to add it to their circles. And this is important and I'll tell you why. Because you can't add people to your circles as a business page until they've added you. See, I just dropped myself into the crew members circle. It says plus one, but the number's still zero. That's the problem. You need to make sure that people are already following you or in your they put you in their circle and then you can add them this has been rich brooks flight new media thanks